Okay, so... This dungeon, I need to get this laser to not... Well, let me do this again. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. When I push this, the laser rotates, right? I have to see where the laser stops. Okay, stops there. Do I even need? I'm trying to think here. Can I just make columns, ice columns around it and just go right through the door? Right, because I was thinking maybe you needed to stasis the laser to stop it from moving. Because if I hit, if I hit this again, okay, to move the laser, then it's going to hit the crystal and the water's going to go down. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I could just walk right across on the ice columns. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? He didn't grab it. He didn't grab it. Okay. Right? Yeah, look. I can go right around it. Yeah, I didn't even have to do anything with freezing the laser at all. I thought I was going to have to, but no. Okay, I could just go right in now. Yep. Now, I see a chest on the other side. I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get over there. Thanks, Eternia Forever, for the, the, the cheer. Appreciate that. Now, here we are. We've got a switch. It looks like I need to put this barrel onto the switch, right? There's also that chest. The barrel floats. The barrel floats. Hmm. If the barrel floats, how the hell am I going to get something on top of there? There's no items in this room for me to pick up. Nope. Huh. barrel back. It's funny because the barrel's heavy, yet it floats. Huh. So maybe I need to turn the water off now, right? Because if I turn the water off, the, the water level will lower, and then this barrel could go on top of the switch. Right. I need to get this barrel in position. Right there. That should be perfect. So now if the water turns off, this barrel will drop on top of the switch and open the gate. Yep. So now I gotta get back across. I think so. People are all hypothesizing in the stream chat if I'm doing the right thing or not. I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, 
Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, draining the water, and the barrel should hit the switch. It did! Aha! The barrel hit the switch, see that? But, now, how on earth... Oh wait, the barrel... The barrel fell off, what? Wait a minute! The barrel was on the switch, opened the door, and then fell off. What on earth? So that didn't work. Huh. Why the hell did it fall off is the question. So what I think I need to do... I think I'm figuring it out now, okay? I need to go over there and get the barrel in position. Right? Now, let me think about this. Damn, this is tough. Hmm. This is tricky. Because I'm thinking... I gotta get the barrel in position so that it'll open the door. But then I need to come back across somehow. I need to be here to enable the water. Man, this is tricky as shit. Okay, wait a minute. I think I got it. Let's think about this. Let's get the water up. Let me think about this. I want to see how high the water level goes at the door over there. Hmm. Alright, the water level goes all the way to the door. Yep. So what I need to do... I need to hit this so that it'll start moving, right? Then I need to get across on the ice blocks, quickly, get through that door so by the time it starts draining the water, I'm already on the other side. That's what I gotta do. Maybe I don't even need the ice blocks. Maybe I can just swim across. I'm gonna give it a shot. Fuck, it didn't move. Go! Oh. I made it! I did it! Ha ha! I didn't need the ice blocks at all! I did not need the ice blocks at all. Okay. Now. That's all well and good, but what about the chest? See this? So to get the chest... Hmm... To get the chest... This is tough. It looks like there needs to be water. Or not. What's the, Is there anything down here? Even if there were water, then I could make an ice block that would let me go up here. Hmm. Because I don't think that you can grab this chest. I don't think it's metal, right? Nope. The chest is not metal. I need to enable water... 
so I can make an ice block and go up. How on earth am I going to do that? How could I get over here but still have water? Because I need no water in order to have the door open. Hmm. This is really tricky. This one is the trickiest one so far. I could always stasis the barrel, right? Stasis the barrel, run across, hit the water. If you stasis the barrel and this fills up, does the barrel not float? Huh. Hmm. Damn, this is tough. Can I hit the switch with an arrow? Would it work? I don't think so. I don't think my arrows go that far. Nope. My arrows don't even go far enough to hit it. So that ain't gonna work. And there's nothing I can lift up and move over there and whack with like, ma like the magnetism. Hmm. Thank you, Slow Synchro, for your small bit cheer of 10. Uh, I don't know. This is tricky, man. I, I, this might be one I have to give up on. I don't, I don't think I can figure this one out right now. And no, uh, I have no shot at the crystal either. I was going to say, gee, can I hit the crystal with an arrow? But I have no shot from here. Right? No shot from here, and there's no way the arrow is going to come down and hit that crystal perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I do not know what I could possibly do here. There's nothing down there. Nope. Hmm. What? Place your bomb on the switch. Use a switch with your arrow. Once you near your chest, blow your bomb. What? Okay, wait a minute. That might be that might be correct. It might be when the room is full, swim over there and put a remote bomb down next to the crystal. You know what? I think that's right. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think that's correct. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now I could just swim, right? Yeah. Well, no, I can't. Oh my god, wait a minute! There's another chest! Look! 
It worked, and now we can get this chest. I didn't even see this chest. An opal. Well, I got one chest, and I gotta do I gotta do the remote bomb again. I wanted to test to see if it worked, and it did work. Okay, boy, this is a tricky one, but with the help of the stream chat, I should be able to get that chest. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do this. That is not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, come on. I hate that when it pops when you wanna grab it. Here we go. Okay, so remote bomb. Right. Now I need to do stasis on the laser, right? Okay. The bomb's still over there? Yes. Good. So now I get the water moving. I stasis the laser. I swim across. The laser will hit the crystal. I'll be able to open the other door. When I go in there, I'll be able to use the remote bomb, fill the room with water, get the other chest. Good God. Okay, here we go. Made it. Okay. Got it. Now I use the remote bomb. Ha ha! Yep. Got it. What's in it? Hopefully something good. The giant boomerang. It's even better than the lizard boomerang that I found. A massive boomerang requires two hands. It was modified to use as a weapon. Right, I'm gonna drop the lizard boomerang then. Hold on. But I just found it too. Very nice. All right, that was one heck of a shrine, but the stream chat helped me with that one, definitely, but figured it out. Nice. Very nice. Appreciate the assist. All right, we can just skip that and go outside. Okay. So that's two spirit orbs, I believe. Yep, two spirit orbs and four hearts. Cool. Cool. 